I'd like to ask you a question about um, loneliness and love. Uh, in my experience, the the kind of love where you're trying to um, uh, by being together, I'm talking about the kind of love between two people in a sense. By being together, you protect yourself from that loneliness. It hasn't worked out too well. And in, in the... Uh, when you're in contact with that loneliness, uh, it seems to destroy a lot of the kinds of things that you try and pull off on that, on that level. But is there, is there still love in that sense between two people well, you're still working with that loneliness. Or are you basically... Well, can you... Perhaps you understand my question from that much. I don't want to go into it too deeply. I think so. I can understand your question. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an interesting point, actually. That... Uh, um, I don't think anybody can fall in love unless they unless they feel lonely. And nobody can fall in love to somebody else unless they know that they are lonely and they're separate individuals. And if you by any misunderstanding, by any strange coincidence that you think you are the other person already, there's no one to fall in love to. And it doesn't work that way. So the whole really idea of a union, the, the word union or united, uh, joining together, which makes the sense of being two being together. I mean, one and one being together is union. Otherwise, if it's just one, you can't, you can't call that union. And uh, zero is not union, one is not union, but two is union. So I think uh, the question of love is that uh, the sense of uh, desolateness which inspires the sense of warmth when you're in love. And the more you feel the sense of desolation, that much you feel the warmth at the same time. And like uh, you can't feel the warmth of a house unless there's a higher temperature outside. You know, it's cold, things are cold. And the more outside is cold, you feel that home is more cozy. And it's that kind of uh, reference point situations taking place, that level. What is what would be the difference between any two particular people uh, being together, and your general relationship to the song as a whole, which is like sort of a whole bunch of people feeling desolateness in different, to different degrees. I think that's a question of that. Uh, if you are two people are together. And the the types of loneliness may be a similarity, and in fact, that one person reminds the other person more of their loneliness. That you feel that your partner feels of you seeing you are more lonely. Whereas in a sangha, that it's a, we could share some of there's a, there's a, there's a, a pervasive loneliness, ubiquitous loneliness. It's taking place all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So would you say that loneliness is love? Um, I think we could say that. In, in your answer to my previous question, you indicated a, a, a lot of wretchedness would be around as we passed on this. Um, into the loneliness and that would get into different kinds of states and dealing with loneliness. I'm wondering where the concept of compassion fits into how does one practice compassion with that loneliness? Um, or how does that concept fit in? Well, I think loneliness brings a sense of compassion. Automatically, the, the compassion is according to the uh, scriptures that compassion is consists of that of uh, shunyata, and uh, knowledge, wisdom. The, the, the ingredients of compassion is that of uh, experience of no ego, non-ego. 
and a sense of uh, precision at the same time, which you often call the skillful means as well. So otherwise you can't have compassion if you don't have egoless and a sense of precision at the same time. So the sense of egolessness obviously comes with the knowingness. The sense of precision is also seeing the wretchedness at the same time seeing through oneself. So that everything's been examined and looked at, so that becomes compassion in that sense, that's unconditional love. 